Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to invade sniper platforms. Sniper platforms are infamously known to be broken once an alert has been set off. So today I'm going to be showing you how not to set off an alert. This is known as ghosting. It is fairly easy once you get the hang of it. By the end of this video, you will know how to invade a sniper platform and with enough practice, it will become muscle memory. When you first start off, you have to check if the defender is online. Once you do that, this will make it easier so that you don't have to worry about anybody coming. Now select an FOB. The higher the level, the better the rewards. Looks like all of his platforms are sniper platforms, so I'm going to choose the highest level one. Now, once you have chosen a platform, you want to make sure you choose this LZ every time. Heading to FOB. As you can see, I'm using Snake, but I'm going to switch him out for a 2x multiplier soldier for more espionage. Alright, now choose a camo that will blend in metal or concrete surfaces. Now, equipment is important. You want to be prepared for any situation. For these sniper platforms, you must equip magazines. This is useful for distracting enemy soldiers. Sleep grenades are essential to put enemies to sleep from where you are near the core. Active decoys to distract enemy at longer hearing ranges. E-stun from when you run out of active decoys. Petrol bombs or grenades to destroy power boxes from afar or mines. However, the grenade is loud, so petrol bomb is recommended. Now for the items. Items are the most important for any FOB invasions. MVGs are a must. If you don't have MVGs equipped, equip it. Noctil cyanin is very very important. Without this, it will make it 10 times difficult. Pentazamin for accurate shots. And the box, which is an essential. If a camera spots you, you hide in the box until it turns away from you. Then keep moving. It is the only way to escape a camera and UAVs will ignore it as well. Now for the weapons, I recommend the tranquilizer so that you put enemy soldiers to sleep. I recommend the Burkhoff or the Burkhoff TB. Any tranquilizer with a suppressor and a low resource requirement would do. Never use the stun gun because they are loud and even with a suppressor enemies will hear it from a long range. Once you get better, resources and GMP will not be a problem. Now, for the primaries, I recommend the S1000 Sun Grade 7 or the S1000 Slug. The shotgun is always a one-hit stun but takes up a decent amount of precious metal. I use the Slug for taking out UAV silently without alerting enemy soldiers. DMG weapons are loud, even with a suppressor. If you miss a shot, enemy soldiers will definitely hear it and will cause the P to set off an alert to alert the defender. If not, it will make the whole trip difficult. Now, for the second primary, I recommend a suppressed tranquilizer sniper. I use the AM non lethal because of the low resource requirements. Tranquilizer distract enemies if you shoot behind them. Basically, it's a magazine that you can shoot. That's it for now. Now, on to the FOB. You can choose when you want to invade. I usually invade at daytime for the espionage points multiplier. Thanks to the camo, enemies will now have a lower visibility of you, so it's harder for them to spot you at long ranges. Successfully sneak your way into the heart of the rival PF's FOB, and you can capture staff from them. I'll be looking forward to meeting the new recruits, boss. Now, at this point, you want to take the pen of Zayman and mark enemies with the binoculars. You don't have to do this, but you want to make sure where they are. I shoot here to attract this guy's attention, and then I'll spawn. Now when you first spawn in, run up the stairs. It takes a few tries to perfect, but because I don't have the athlete ability, transparency wears off faster. You must dive at a certain point once your transparency wears off. Aim, and then roll. If you didn't know by now, you always have an extra bullet, so reload if you have time. Equip your magazines. I shoot instead, just in case I missed a magazine, and he looks my way. 
Now, one of two things will happen here. A, he looks where you shot for a couple of seconds, ignores it, and goes back to normal. B, he looks for a couple of seconds and calls CP, in which gives you time to pass. He then searches for where the sound came from. He calls CP again, and CP will tell him to return to normal, all without sounding off an alert. Now, at this point, I start rolling because I have a couple of seconds to pass before he turns around, and if I'm not prone, he'll be able to spot me. I shoot here to distract him so I can pass by easily. Now, there's usually a security camera here, so wait for it to turn around. Security cameras can only see at a range of 20 meters, so at 21 meters, you should be fine. Caution, rain approaching. Analysis complete. Now, at this point, I start marking enemies to conserve Noctocyanin that I might need later. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Now, if you didn't know, when you shut off a combat alert, this is where the mortar that shoots at you usually is. Now, I equip the magazines because I know there's going to be a lot of enemies there and I need to distract them all at once. If you are as quick as I am, at this point, this enemy will go to a point where it will be difficult to pass him, so you must attract his intentions with a magazine or a tranquilizer gun. Up there with the two rails is where he'll be. If he's there, he'll spot you even if you're prone. If he is there, tranquilize him. No one will come check on him. However, it is a risk because of the UAV that passes by. As I've told you before about option B, that he will call CP and alert about the noise. After that, he will just go back to normal after calling CP again. Now comes the most difficult part, the last platform. Analysis complete. Mark the UAV Analysis so you know where it will be later in any enemies you see. Now wait for the UAV to pass by so that you can tranquilize anybody who's here, otherwise the UAVs will spot them and not move, making it otherwise more difficult to reach the core.
I'm shooting the rail so I can attract these guys in the tower's attention. Alright. Now equip your active decoys here so that you can track many enemies' attention that is around the area. Reminder to always aim and shoot for the face area to put enemies to sleep because there is a metal plate above the face which prevents you from getting easy headshots. Now I equip the shotgun to destroy the UAV. Now since every shot slash pillar hit, nobody will hear me shooting down the UAV. Now watch out for the sensors since they will alert the whole base and go to alert status like I do here. So don't trip them like I do. Now take some Noctocyanin and then throw a sleep grenade here. Grade 7 sleep grenades have a longer range so it puts many enemies to sleep. It can also put you to sleep if you're not careful. Sometimes there's enemies below, so I throw some sleep grenades here in a second. Those guys heard me shooting and the active decoy, so I throw some sleep grenades so I can put them to sleep. There's a security camera right over there, so I destroy it. accidentally put myself to sleep. Now equip the grenades because some people like your sector customize and kill people instantly that pass by. I take some Nocto sign in to make sure the coast is clear. There's usually a security camera here so destroy it and watch out for mines on the way to the core. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. It is crucial that you lock your S++ or S++ soldiers, or else if someone perfect stealths your FOB and reaches the core, they will get those soldiers, just like I did. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment. This is my first video, and it took me time to edit everything, including the voiceover. About seven hours, actually. I hope you learned a lot from this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.